Hey guys, iPhone you here. I'm so sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I've been so busy with school, just starting it and all that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the apps I use for school or that I will use pretty soon. So this is my education folder that I have here and I have 10 apps which I'm going to show you. Now these are not going to be in-depth app reviews. If you do want one, just comment down below. All right, so first one is Algebra Touch, which I actually uh, got from the iPad 2 so just shout out to her and this one has a lot of categories simple stuff such as addition all the way to more advanced and substituting and crossing out so uh, basically with the symbols you touch it to combine the like terms like for multiplication or division addition subtraction so I can multiply these together make sure you use the rules you know Parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division from left to right, substitute, subtraction, and addition left to right. So that's cool, and you can't combine like terms, obviously. So then you can just like, you can also cro cross them out. I'm not trying to do that, I'm just trying to do that. It's very interactive, just trying to say that. And you can already tell that it's very interactive. So what you do is you tap on a term, and it'll separate it with its factors it has right there and that's cool you can see that one I did pretty quickly but you have to figure it out on your own it doesn't really have instructions just the beginning which explains how to use it which is actually very helpful so check that out and then I'm just going to show you how the app works I'm not going to explain much so I'm just gonna do it by myself we're gonna multiply this and it does the distribution or whatever it's called to the terms so that's cool multiply 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 and then just add the like terms and such and there you go so that's algebra touch it's really cool and interactive. It helps you practice a lot. Even though I'm taking geometry, I already took algebra 1 and pre-algebra. Um, this is very helpful. It keeps your mind going, kind of like a warm-up. So next is a basic calculator. It's Calculator HD. I'm not sure of the specific name. This one is the free version, so it does have ads, but you can upgrade. It kind of has a theme going on, but it has a scientific side and the simple calculator if you put it into portrait mode. So this is just simple calculations you can do right here. Um, for example, this, and then, you know, take the square root, and I did it wrong. There we go. There you go. So it works pretty neatly. I haven't had many problems. It might crash now and then, but I think that's because I press too many buttons. So that's Calculator HD. Next is my dictionary. I use dictionary.com. I know I actually used Merriam-Webster in this one, and I found out I would use this one a lot more. I don't know. I just like how it how it is. So we're going to start with the first page, the hot word, the word of the day, one in English and one in Spanish. And then we have trending and popular, so that's cool. And we're just going to choose beautiful. All right, that's the word. And it'll tell you how to pronounce it, then it'll say how to pronounce it, or how to say it. And I actually don't have my volume on, so there we go. Beautiful. See? And then you can favorite it, share it, view the thesaurus, and synonyms if there are. And what's really cool is, alright, you get your definition, if it's an adjective, a noun, whatever, the origin. Now, if you don't know a word in the definition, which I usually don't understand most of the words and definitions you can just tap on the word and they'll show up um, you know just simple definitions how to pronounce it put. put you know that's easy then you have well you have search which you can search at the top and speech recognition recent favorites and more to rate it and share it so that's really cool for example I don't know how to pronounce this word ac Raha, Akraha, I'm not sure. Ma, ni, us. Acrimonious. Acrimonious, see? Almost got it. So that's dictionary.com. You can choose any dictionary, but I like that one. Next is iBooks. I don't really use this, but I have to read a book that I have here Graveyard Books. So this is what I'm using it for. Haven't read it yet. So 
just simple. Next is Pages. This one is a very long and expensive app. I don't want to go into it, but you can choose templates. This one is the Blink one, and you can basically you just select something. You get your font, you know, right here, the, the basic fonts you'll find on a computer. Font size, bolt, italic, underlined. You can change the alignment, the indention. This is the style, the list of, you know, bullet or whatever, the layout, line spacing. This is if you want to add a picture, a table, a chart, or shapes. Tools is like to share it and print it and all that. And this is to full screen it. So what's cool with the pictures is that you select it, right? You can move it anywhere you want to, resize it, and put a finger on it, and then you can rotate it, which is really nice. So it's a very, it's a very friendly app, and there, so. Uh, you have to highlight the words when you want to change the font. So we're just going to change it to that. And there you go. So then, these are all your documents. I haven't used this yet, but I will because my school is a technology school. So I do plan to use it a lot. And, ooh, there you go. Alright, so that was Pages. Um, if you guys want to know, is it worth the money? Well, I don't use this at all, so I'm not really sure. Um, I have tried it out before. It's really nice. But this, I will say, is one of the best. I know it's a bit pricey, but it has a lot of stuff. Um, same things on the computer. Nothing extra. It might be a little bit easier on the computer. Just saying. Next one is Flashcardlet. It might be even my favorite app of these. It's free. And it has, it's like the flashcard thing. Now, if you ever heard of Quizlet.com, in that website you can create your own flashcards and just study from there and you can also take your own test on your definitions and all that so it's really nice so this app actually downloads from that website or you can create your own or combine so you choose your category or search we're gonna do yeah we're just gonna do math and this one mathematics and we're going to do geometry because that's what I'm taking. So here I'll show you all the sets that it has on the website. There's millions. And I'll tell you here on the right how many cards are in the sets. And these logos means that it has pictures. So we're going to look for one that's really full and has a bunch of, um, you know, just stuff in it. So this one has 78. So you're going to choose it. You see the creator number of cards. When it was modified, so it's pretty recent. This is 8th grade math. I take... 10th or 11th, but I'm in 8th grade. So, you can preview it if you want to see what words they have before you start. Um, and this is pretty nice. And then you can add it to your library. So it's added. And we can open it up right there. Study. Start studying. And it's just simple flashcard stuff. So, this is the word. Tap on it to see the definition. The thing is to guess the definition or say it before. So you can study. Um, and you just drag it to the side either way. This button is to shuffle it, choose the font, um, start from the beginning, all that. You can favorite the word if you like it or you're good at it or whatever. So that's really nice. Um, vertical, you know, just line going up and down. Horizontal, line going left to right, side to side. So these are just simple stuff it's nothing hard you don't have to create your own set you can but I like this because people make this actual people sometimes even teachers so these are reliable most of the time and I haven't found a set yet that has like a bunch of stuff that doesn't even have to do with the um, subject so that is flash cardlet and it's free it also has drive it driving stuff like driver's ed or just not even school topics maybe just anything like shoes so that's flashcardlet. Next is SAT vocab. This is for vocabularies. Also, it's flashcards, so it has the same idea. I'll say the word. Or tap on it to see the definition. To repeat it, example, and then go to the next one. You can favorite it, or you can shuffle them if you don't like the order. And what's cool is that you can take a quiz on these. Um, you can select the group like the ones you like as a favorite or whatever. So. You just take the test. That's really cool. Um, that was SAT vocab. Next one is Edmodo, which is a website, and I don't, I can't show you guys because I don't have a password or anything yet. But I will use it because my school always uses it. The second to last is mathematics. I forgot the real name. 
It's called iMathematics, and I like this because it's very interactive. Now, I'm a math geek, honestly. Not very scientific-y, but I'm a math geek. Now, here it's basically showing you how to do stuff, like geometry, which is what I have right now. Um, so I'll explain it to you and how to use it from different websites, also Wikipedia. But what I like the most about this app is that you can take notes right here or do your simple problems right here, which is really nice. You can do 2, oh no, that's not a 2. <laughs> 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's cool, right? Press the trash can right here, or the trash bin, whatever you want to call it. These are utilities right here, so calculator, graphing paper, and all that. So that's cool. I find that to be really neat. And I like I like how they have the decoration going on right there. Calculator. And you can still write over here. So honestly, this is a cool interactive app. That's pretty much why I like it, but it has a lot of information as well. Algebra. You can do factorization quadratic equations. To explain it, here you have favorites if you do have a favorite then you can, um, you know, this is your definition right here this is your properties. You can view Wikipedia um, there's a bunch of stuff we have plane geometry right here so this is general stuff and figure you know, I find this very interactive. It's like different but you have different Websites like Wikipedia, which it will also direct you to. So it has a, just a lot of stuff. This is mathematics, obviously. Probabli probability, sorry. You need to upgrade to iMathematics Pro, which I'm not sure how, how much it costs. But I like this one because I don't have to use that one yet. So this is iMathematics. I didn't really explain it. I'm a bad explainer. Next one, last one, is iStudies Pro. Now, this one, I chose to use the demo because it has dates in here. You can see, um, oh, well, actually, um, what this is is basically you put your assignments and classes all in here. Now, remind you, now this is more for people who are allowed to use their iPads in class because I can't. So there's really no point in this. Um, I just maybe you just have to use it for homework. But you see this calendar, it has all these dots, so that means numbers of classes or homeworks. Tell you your schedule and assignments and the check is when you do it. So this is um, Spanish too, which these aren't mine, these are just the demos. But you just have today, calendar, you have a lot of stuff to choose from. But what you want to do is you add new class or exam, new calendar event. So it also has calendar events that you have from your calendar app new class exam. So I'm gonna do uh... oh yeah this is your semester so these are all your teachers instructors these aren't real obviously um, my semester seven courses you can add a new course so I'm going to add geometry which I obviously can't geometry what am I supposed to do I think this is more for college kids but this is a class, and it's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Location, instructors, so you have instructors, put your instructor, or choose one. So, I mean, I'm obviously not clear on how to use this yet. Um, I'm just starting, but I just wanted to show you, and I know I'm kind of sick if you guys are wondering. But math homework, I turned it in priority. So it's really cool. It organizes. It'll tell you what to do first if you have a certain priority or if one is due before. It'll tell you the time if you have a class at a specific time and all that. Just the calendar. It's like, honestly, the calendar app, but more for classes. I think that's cool. So that was what is in my education folder or what apps do I use for school here on my iPad 2. I hope you guys enjoyed all the apps and I might do another version soon later in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. Want a full in-depth app review? Just comment down below. Alright, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Alright, bye.